hope that you're all really well and welcome back to my channel. I am just recently back from my holiday in Ibiza. I've had a lovely break. It was 10 days. We went to the sensatory there and it was just heaven and I'm feeling all the holiday blues. But I'm trying to feel really positive and just embrace the fact that England is sunny at the moment and I've got shorts on and bright colours so yeah trying not to let those holiday blues get me down. So in today's video I am going to be sharing with you my current favourites. I haven't actually done a favourites video in quite a while and these are some of my favourite not only to film but to watch. I really love watching favourites videos so if you film favourite videos let me know because I'd like to watch it. So I'm just going to jump straight into the video and show you what I am loving. So the very first favourite item on my list is by Benefit and it's their Hula Bronzer in the shade Caramel. This was actually a gifted makeup item to me. I was sent um, the whole set of Hula Bronzers which was so cool but when I got sent them a few months ago I actually could only really use the normal hula because all of the other hulas were so dark and there was actually a lighter one which was too light for me but now I've been on holiday and I'm nice and bronzed up the hula in caramel is absolutely perfect for me it's not dissimilar to the normal hula it's just slightly more darker and a bit more like honey coloured I don't know but I'm wearing it now it's just like the perfect bronzer if you've been on holiday or you want to kind of fake a holiday glow and I just really love it another really lovely glowy product that I have rediscovered and I've had it in my makeup collection for quite a while now is the Nyod I think that's how you say it Nyod tan please focus Nyod tan photography fluid I think that's what you call it yeah photography fluid um, this is the tan one if you've not heard of this stuff before it's meant to make your skin look really um, perfect and also tanned in real life and in photos um, so I've been using this instead of foundation or mixing it with a little bit of foundation so today I've mixed it with a little bit of my normal um, what foundation am I using? Rimmel? I think it's a Rimmel foundation I've mixed it with a tiny bit of my Rimmel foundation because I wanted a little bit of coverage on some redness and I've mixed it with that and it is just a delight it makes my skin look really really glowy it kind of matches the face tan to the body tan because obviously your body's normally more tanned when you go on holiday um yeah and I just really really like it for summer I only really do get this out in the summer because I just feel in winter it's just a little bit of a pointless product because you don't want to have a really brown face all winter um but yeah in the summer I really really love this stuff Obviously because I've been on holiday a couple of the products are very holiday related but it is sunny in the UK at the moment so some of these products might apply to you too and I wanted to show you my absolute favourite after sun that I have been using for about 10 years now. I can't believe that I've actually used the same after sun for 10 years. And it's this Garnier Ombre Solaire after sun. It's a tan intensifying after sun so I'm pretty sure it contains a very small amount of tanning agent. Don't know if that means self tan because it doesn't say it just says it, it contains a tanning agent so I'm assuming that means it's got a little bit of self like gradual tan in it um but it doesn't like come out orange and it doesn't make your hands orange or anything so I don't know how it really works but it's a really 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 good after sun I find that I don't really peel when I use this I use it every day after I've been in the sun and then I continue to use it for about two or three weeks after I've been on holiday to try and maintain my tan as well and it's just my absolute favorite after sun and it's not expensive either I think it was like six pounds or something along the same lines I've got a little favorite product that we used for Harry when we were away now I just wanted to mention that I have worked on a paid promotion with Nivea over on my Instagram but I was not paid to do any other content on any other platforms um, but we really do rate this product. It is the Nivea Sun Sensitive Roll-On Sun Cream and it's in fact a 50 plus um, so it's the first roll-on sun cream we have ever used and it's like this it looks like a little deodorant bottle and I just think it's incredible it's really great for Harry because he can do it himself and it, it kind of helps us to educate him on how to use sun cream and why you use sun cream I think before we were using sun creams and just spraying on him like chasing him around the garden to get it on or the beach to get it on and he kind of hated it but I think because this is so interactive he can really easily do it himself um, and we can talk about why you wear sun cream whilst we're putting it on him so he's like really aware on 
what we use sun cream for and um, he knows that he needs to have it on when he's going outside. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is perfect for him because he can apply it himself, which means that he can take it to school because at Harry's school, don't know if it's the same everywhere, but at Harry's school, the teachers can't put sun cream on them. Um, so they are able to take their own if they can apply it themselves. So apologies if anything has moved or the angle's moved, but I just ran out of space on my memory card. That is actually such a schoolboy error from a vlogger. <laughs> Um, but to carry on, my next product I wanted to show you is by a brand called Paula's Choice, which I have never heard of before and I just thought was a really weird name for a brand, but upon googling, um, it's very, very popular. The Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting something or other, I totally forgotten what it's called. Um, it's a Skin Perfecting 2% BHA liquid and it's got salactic acid in. I don't actually know what any of that means other than the fact that this is a acid exfoliator, so a lot of exfoliators can have like harsh sort of grains in and uh, are like scrubs but that sort of thing does not work for my skin so acid exfoliators are a little bit better for me Um I've actually bought this because I have been suffering a little bit with acne again breakouts cystic sort of things um, and Google really recommended this stuff so it's quite a new product to my regime but I've been using it for about six weeks and I'm really 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 impressed I feel like when I use this my skin just feels so so much smoother I wake up the next morning and it feels just a lot softer and a lot more plump and I think it's really helping to reduce acne scarring and potentially reduce the actual acne itself but um, I'm gonna put it in my favorites because it's for, it's definitely becoming a favorite product um, and I definitely need to use it a little bit longer um, but I do really rate it Another product that we have been using on Harry, which was gifted to us that I really, really, really love and would never have heard of if I didn't do any of this sort of job. So I thought I would mention it to you guys because I don't think you would have heard of the brand either. And it is this natural shower gel by a company called Yope. I'm assuming that's how you say it anyway. And they sent me, I think it was three or four different flavors, but this is my favorite. This is the cranberry and lavender, which I would never put together, but it smells incredible and it's made of all natural ingredients which I think we all agree we would like to use more of especially on our children and I just really love it I've also been using it as a bubble bath instead of our normal kind of bubble bath just squirting it in with the water and it creates loads of bubbles and I feel like he's getting a wash at the same time I think you can use it as like a shampoo too but um, yeah we mainly use it on Harry's body and I just think it smells really lovely and it's nice to know that it's a natural product and like I said they sent me four of these which I feel like I'm going to last like two years because this is a huge bottle um I will link it below um, I'm not sure where you buy it from but I will link it below so you can get your hands on it too so next up is something that we bought Harry for his birthday last year and I wanted to mention it as a favourite because it was like a lifesaver when we were on the plane and on holiday and that is Harry's Nintendo Switch. So if you don't know what Nintendo Switch is, it's a games console, it's a bit like a Game Boy but a very up to date version. It's very sleek and it's quite heavy I think but it's very sleek and you can use it as a games console like handheld one or you can use it on the TV with a little device that it plugs into um but I just wanted to mention it because it was amazing at keeping Harry entertained on the flight we only had a flight to Ibiza so it was only two hours but still a five-year-old gets very bored very quickly and he actually played this for most of the flight it was also really handy for when we were on holiday and any time that we were out of the sun or me and Scott needed to get ready and he was bored because obviously TV abroad is not the same as the TV in the UK and he just needed some chill out time. It was really great to have it with us um, and I really like that with the Switch, unlike an iPad with YouTube or a TV, you can set a parental control on here. So there's a timer which lets you set an amount of time that they can play it for and then it just turns off or you can like override it with the password. Um, so we have it set as, as an hour, so Harry can have an hour of his Switch and then it will turn off. And he just is really accepting of it. He knows that once his time's up, it's up. And I just think that it's a really great feature to have, especially for parents um, who want their children not to have too much screen time. I also wanted to mention a favourite candle at the moment, and this is from Anthropology. Not only is it a beautiful glass um, box with a lovely glass lid box, glass 
what do we call this? Container? Candle container? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just think it's really, really pretty. Um, the candle smells absolutely delicious. I can't describe it, but it's sweet and delicious. And it's called uh, the Fragrance Candle Vo Volcano. Um, but they do all sorts of different flavour ones of these. But I just really love the pot and it's really nice smelling as well. Oh, and I just wanted to show you these guys because I think that they are absolutely adorable. I bought these in a home shop near my parents' house um, and they are these little safety matches. Um, I don't really use safety matches to like light my candles that often just now and again if I feel like it I do but I kind of bought them to, to go on display and I just thought they were really cute. I wanted to mention a favourite cookbook that we've been using over the last few months. So me and Scott have been on a bit of a health kick, apart from when we went on holiday, I ate loads of cake, but before we went on holiday we were on a bit of a health kick and we were trying to eat um, a lot better and we were also trying to save a little bit of money on our food shopping because it was getting a bit ridiculous. Um, so we gave a break from HelloFresh and Gusto boxes and we started doing some cooking out of Jamie Oliver's five ingredient book and I just think that this book is genius. I'm really, really hoping that he comes out with another one because I feel like we've exhausted the recipes in here a little bit now. Um, so I'm hoping that he does another one of these because I think it's so good. But basically you've got a ton of recipes in here which just contain five ingredients. Let me try and find one of my favourites. Yeah, so like here we've got the comforting sausage bake and it looks absolutely amazing and all it is is five ingredients and it's just money saving, time saving, healthy and I really really rate this cookbook. And the last favourite on my list has to be my Kindle. So I am an avid reader anyway, I read every single night but I especially read a lot on holiday. I actually read four books, actually I'd already started one so yeah three and three quarters books yeah um so yeah my kindle is absolutely amazing for travel i mean i couldn't take four books away with me like physical books they just wouldn't fit in my suitcase and it would be really heavy so having all your books on here is amazing i was very much one of those people that was so anti kindle a few years ago i was like absolutely no way i love the smell of pages there's nothing like having a real fresh book in your hand which there isn't and i still stand by that but this Kindle has changed my life. It's so amazing to be able to travel with um, any book that you like. Say you get bored of the book you're reading, which does happen sometimes, and you just want to buy another one, you can just buy it online, send it straight to your Kindle, and you've got it right there. Um, I also have the Kindle app on my phone, so if this ever runs out of battery or I don't have my Kindle with me, I can just read the Kindle app on my phone. So let me tell you about some of the books that I read on holiday and I loved because I loved all of them. So the first one that I read was called My Lovely Wife, which, oh my God, I absolutely loved it. I recommended it to Scott and he's almost finished it. Um, without telling you the whole story, it's about a husband and wife who have killed somebody together. That's all I'm gonna tell you, but it's so gripping and so good. Uh, the other book I, I read was the Best Friend by Shalini Boland. Um, I really, really liked it as well. It was a little bit far-fetched, but I thought it was really good. It was like a thriller type thing, and it was about a woman who befriends um, a very rich, successful best friend. I also read The Perfect Family by the same author. Again, it was really, really good. I would say far-fetched again, but it was really, really good. It was about a woman who hires a nanny and the nanny isn't all she seems. Um, and then I read the... Where well, should I read? Oh, and then I read Sally Hepworth's Mother-in-Law, which was actually amazing. I really wasn't sure about it about halfway through. I was like, I don't know where this is going. Nothing's really happening. But by the end, I actually felt quite moved by it. And it was also like a thriller at the same time. So it was like a bit tear-jerking, but also a thriller. Um, and that was about um, a mother-in-law, basically. Um, so that is everything in my favourites this month. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know the kind of things that you're loving at the moment. And also let me know if you like this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!